Team Junkyard Dog here today, and we're in for another shop update, or I don't know, robot workshop, garage update, whatever you want to call it. But let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this right here. Yes, it looks like a giant mess, but that is my future office. I am relocating all of my stuff from in the house out to the garage and making this an AC year-round studio so I can work on robots on this side, I can do my videos and edits on the other side. How cool is that? Now, here's some more exciting news. I'm going to show you some of the bots we're working on. Here you can see our new 12 pounder. This is our hobby weight. We are still prototyping. This is uh, just PLA for now. We did snap it so only one side is technically spinning. But uh, it's basically just a, a couple of Rougarou blades which were from the vector kit with our homemade little hub here. We're not sure what to make it out of so if you have any suggestions what would be a good material to print this from just let me know. But uh, we're excited about it. It's just more for fun than serious competition. And right now it can't run upside down because this is too squared in the back. So we are gonna curve this and bend this top plate down. We need to add a back plate as well. We're working on a new beetle weight. We're gonna call it, for now, Proto X. And Proto X is supposed to be for fabricating or trying out new ideas. So we're gonna compete this bot under Proto X for the first fight, and then after that, we'll give him a proper name if he does well and we decide to continue to fight this bot. But for now, that's the only thing I'm going to tell you. Now, we are getting ready for Megacon. We have a huge Chica head here, 10 rolls of filament, and you can see that uh, it's huge. There's no way a 10-year-old little girl's gonna be wearing this. So we do have over here, on top of the pile, I printed that one for her. So we're gonna actually finish that one and uh, get rid of all the donate stuff as well. <laughs> so it's a mess, but it's a mess of progress. Now, this was a big G that we tried to make using a three inch by two inch bar. The bar hits like a tank. It hits very, very hard. We are gonna to continue to develop this, but for now we're going back with other big G. This is big G OG. We are gonna make him four wheel drive. That's the biggest change, but that's all I'm gonna say for right now. Cause we do have a competition up. That's but the whole robot right here. We'll call it a bot in a bag. But you'll see them soon enough. We don't want to ruin our element of surprise. I wanted to kind of go over our sticker wall here. These are some of the stickers that we have acquired. Everybody from Captain Shredderator, one of my favorite all-time bots, to Repeat Robotics. We have Wright's RC Place. We met this gentleman right here going through the TTO2 challenge. We have Red Wire, which is a co-team of ours. We're completely independent of each other, but we are friends. And then some BattleBot teams, Purple Fire, Junkyard, Scorpios, Bot Kids, FPV, Ovonic, Maelstrom, just a whole bunch of different robot teams. We even uh, got this one from Lynx whenever we fought Lynx, so too cool. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for what we're doing in our shop right now. If you guys want to see more robot builds and the process of us building robots as we're building them, just drop a comment and let us know. It's kind of a hard decision to make because when you're doing something new, you don't want to ruin the surprise. You don't want to give away all your secrets. But on the other hand, we do want to educate. We do want to inform and help others out and help people get into the sport. So all in all, with all that being said, we're Team Junkyard Dog and we're out.